And now I'm going to move on to other uh, messages. This is Matthew 5.10. And I'm going to demonstrate how to uh, do outlines for each of these messages. So this is another message. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they revile and persecute you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before you. So we want to first interpret the passage. So blessed are those who, who are persecuted for righteousness sake. They want to uh, live a righteous life, a Christian's life, and they are persecuted for that. And for theirs is the kingdom of heaven that they will inherit the kingdom of heaven. They are Christians. They will go to heaven one day. And blessed are you when they revile and persecute you. So when they attack you and say all kinds of evil against you falsely, then you are blessed. Rejoice, be happy, and be exceedingly glad for great is your reward. Your reward will be great in heaven. For so they persecuted the prophets who were before before you. Okay, so the outline here I put down in a simple way. Examples. Many Christians are afraid. Now, okay, so a theme for this I would say um, be willing to suffer for Jesus or suffer with Jesus with joy and confidence. Okay, so a theme like that. Suffer. Uh, for Jesus with joy and confidence. Examples. So many Christians are afraid. So negative example and positive examples. Many Christians are afraid of persecution and some Christians suffer bravely for God. So there are many Christians when they hear persecution, they are very much afraid. But there are others who suffer greatly for Jesus. And God gives them strength. God reward them. And then nature. Jesus was the nature of God. Jesus was willing to die for us. He's, God suffers persecution now when people persecute Christians. So first, Jesus himself, he was persecuted when he was on earth. That he was willing to die for us, suffer and die for us. And then even now, people are persecuting Christians. They are actually persecuting God. So God also suffered persecution now. So God's nature is that He is willing to suffer persecution for us. Grace of God. God treasures those who, those who suffer for Him. So He treasures them because they're willing to pay a high price for God. God will reward them. Now, uh, so that's grace of God. Um, now, I, earlier I talked about how we can talk about four aspects of God's uh, nature and grace of God. First is the nature of God. God is a God who is willing to, to suffer persecution. And then grace, how He gives to us. He gives to us ability to suffer persecution. And, and the grace of transference that He can help us. He can give us the strength to help other people who are suffering persecution. So during persecution, we can help other Christians to face persecution. So that's the grace of transference. And then uh, reward that when, we, uh, that when we suffer for Him, He will reward us now and forever. Now the reward, some people say, I'm suffering, how can He reward us? He can reward us with joy and strength that we can enjoy His presence. He can reward us by speak to, speaking to us that we can hear God's voice. So these are ways that He can reward us. And then why? Many Christians are afraid of persecution. Because they are afraid of suffering, they are afraid of death. But when we think about for eternity, we'll be rewarded by God. And God is pleased with us and He will bless our whole life. So that... Uh, we understand why people are afraid of persecution. So we, then we want to overcome the fear. And a reminder and warning, persecution will come. Those who are not ready can lose faith. So there's a warning. Yes, persecution will come. The Bible has promised, has, pers uh, 
has uh, prophesied that it will come and then when we're not ready we can lose faith so some Christians say I, I'm afraid of uh, persecution I don't want to face persecution even when we're afraid we still have to face persecution and then how we can have courage to suffer for Jesus so if we use the previous five points to help us how that remember how God has blessed us even when we were persecuted and we think our fear of persecution how we our mistakes how we were afraid now I will send you this uh, later in a in a JPG so that you can see this five points here so first remember how God has blessed us in the area how God has blessed us in our persecution in the past and and then rethink our fear of persecution and then praise God love God to have strength and then pay attention to the voice of the Holy Spirit uh, and obey the voice now this C and D actually can combine into one that the voice of the Holy Spirit to guide us into the detail of our lives how we can uh, in the suffering or persecution that we can still have strength okay so this uh, few points I hope you can understand I'm going to use more examples today so that you can understand it so that you will be able to do the assignment and it will help you because every of these points are directional it will help people in that in a direction of the theme the examples are to remind Christians that yes Christians some Christians are afraid of persecution and some people are courageous in persecution and they have a lot of strength and the nature of God is that God suffers persecution too and then the grace of God first he gives us strength uh, in persecution and also the uh, grace of transference that we can help other Christians to be able to stand persecution and reward that he'll reward us and then why so why many Christians are afraid of persecution so then we know why because they fear for their life they fear the pain of suffering but when we think about the, pro uh, the reward we'll have and the joy we can have and God's presence we can have that actually some people who experience persecution they can experience uh, joy and peace like in heaven that they can have the extra peace and joy of God so we can have that confidence and say okay next time when I'm persecuted I will rejoice in the Lord I think about God's blessing and then I will experience heaven and experience God's presence and then I won't be afraid of the persecution and then reminder and warning that we need to face persecution but uh, God will you know if people are not ready they can lose the faith but if we're ready then we have strength and then how how we can have uh, how we can face persecution so the a few points I, I just had is remember how God has blessed us in our persecution rethink our mistakes how we have uh, have fear of persecution and then have a close relationship with God and have strength and then pay attention to the Holy Spirit and, and obey the Holy Spirit to guide us in every detail of our life 